Now we're looking at the mineral curatite in reflected light, and it's much of this slide, but it's this kind of pinky materi material that we're seeing. As we spin the slide, you can see kind of on the edges, some of them are going from that pinky color into a paler color. It's not really obvious in this one, um, but you can see slight hints of it. Uh, there is also pyrite there that's the paler color, but there's slight hints of, of the change. When we switch it into cross polars, it'll be uh, even more obvious uh, as we are putting into cross polars here. And upping that, and now we can see uh, the puritite again. It's more of a bluey gray color. And as we start rotating this stage, you're going to see the color change um, due to the anisotropy of the mineral. So we'll just start moving the stage. And you can see the different colors of blue and there we go now that we turn this stage they're going through darker blue into lighter blue colors if you can put your microscope into partially cross polars these will be more distinctive brown colors but we only have full cross polars on on our microscope and that's one of the better ways to identify pyrotite we'll go through and switch slides and again we're going to be looking at pyrotite as we change it, there may be a subtle change in the color of the kind of light gray pinky mineral. It's a little bit more light gray in this slide, and it'll change into slightly lighter shades. Um, this isn't super obvious in these samples. Um, other things that can help identify it is that pyrotite has a fairly moderate um, hardness. Uh, and again, when you're in cross polars, it's a much more distinctive going through extinction as we rotate the stage uh, due to the anisotropy of the mineral and reflected light. And we'll be showing a few more examples of this, but it's generally a very similar uh, thing in each of these slides that as we rotate the slow, the slide in, or the, yeah, the slide in plain polarized light, It'll change slightly, whereas when it's in cross polars, it's a fairly dramatic change. Um, it's got that distinctive kind of slightly pinky color uh, in cross polars. Uh, this is switching to a higher magnification. We'll just focus up there. We'll have another look at it uh, as we rotate that same sample uh, in plain polarized light here. And then we'll switch to cross polars shortly, and we'll see a very similar thing where um, maybe slight changes in color as we rotate the stage in uh, plain polarized light and then much more distinctive in uh, cross polarized light. Again, is this pinky color for the pyrotite uh, in plain polarized light. On our microscope, it's more of a, a blue color um, just due to uh, grayish and going to blue in uh, complete cross polars and then back through grayish white. Uh, this will be more of a distinctive brown if your microscope allows you to put it in par partially cross polars. Um, other ways to identify pyrotite, again, it's a moderate hardness, so it'll s usually be polished a little bit more than pyrite if it's nearby, but it'll sit above softer minerals like galena or sphalerite as well, or chalcopyrite, all things that are frequently found with pyrotite. All right, we're going to be switching to another slide here. Um, again, you can see maybe in the bottom corner, you can see a slight change in color, but not very distinctive. Um, and may not be there in some cases. Uh, if we switch into cross polars, we'll see those, uh, the extinction much more obviously as we rotate the stage. And there we go into cross polars. And we can rotate the stage. And this is basically from one crystal. And you can tell that because it's all 
getting darker at basically the same time where some of those other samples, it was uh, different minerals were, were changing color at different times. Uh, we'll switch to the last slide and a bit more zoomed in. Very similar again as we rotate the stage. Not seeing too much of a change at all. Maybe a slight difference in brightness, but but nothing too significant. Plain polarized light, pure tight again. The light color is maybe slightly pinkish um, colored mineral. And then as we cross and to uh, cross polars, we'll see much more distinctive change. Uh, again, other ways to help identify this is the hardness, but also um, pyrotite is magnetic. So as long as you don't have magnetite in your sample, you can just use your magnet as well for identification if there's enough of it anyway. So we'll just keep uh, rotating this uh, a bit longer, um, but I think it's still very similar things that we've seen before. 